the screen. Any questions? Any doubts? Sir, please correct me. Sir, whenever we have a differential backup uh, while restoring the uh, T-log backup also, so we, we we need to calculate from a differential backup itself how many counts are there and restore them. That's it, sir. Mm, I did not get you, Ankam. Sorry. Sir, uh, we have full back. After that, defense backup is there. Okay. So uh, the T log backup always. Yes, uh, always the last differential backup, backup only. Yes, okay. always the last differential. Whenever you want to restore it, so you came to know right when the T log will be generated. So you know that the strategy. You know, okay, in your organization, what will be the strategy? You know, if the strategy is every six hours. So you will restore the last differential backup. So after last differential backup, whatever log backups are there, that you are going to make use of it. If it okay. is every day at 10 p.m., after 10 p.m., whatever log backups are there, you can make use of those log backups. You know the strategy, so here, right? your organization strategy, yes, you know. Yes, sir. Hmm. Here the sequence is, the cycle is uh, from differential backup itself. Yes. Till last to T log backup. Yes, correct. Okay, sir. Thanks. Okay, guys. Guys, so one more important point. Okay, whatever we discuss it till now. Okay, that's okay. Everything is okay. But differential backups are not mandatory. Okay, so there are some scenarios where people don't use differential backups. Anyhow, your log backup is tracking for every 15 minutes, right? Right. There are two ways we can restore, guys. There are two ways we can restore. First way is you can make if you have differential backup system okay you can make use of full differential differential backup will help you to reduce the log backups count this the same scenario can be achieved in another way okay control z control z yes the same scenario can be achieved in another way guys one full backup can anyone tell me guys one full backup and and uh, how many log back uh, six okay yeah, okay 32 log backups. 32? 2 a.m. From 2 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. 72. 72 log. 72 log. 72, huh? 72. 72 log. 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. 12 hours. So 2 p.m. to 8 means 6 hours. 12 plus 6, 18 hours. 66. Right? 18. 18 into 4? 72. 72 log backups. Okay. 72. So 72 log backups, I can make use of all the 72 log backups. Again, I don't want to confuse you guys. If you have differential backups will help you to reduce the log backup count. I can restore either like this or I can restore like this also. Okay, if you use differential backup, you can use only eight log backups. If you don't use differential backup, you can use all the log backups since last full backup. Agree? Clear guys, very simple point. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. Sir, which strategy is uh, mostly this strategy yes, only, sir. fully differential log backup. Why? Because okay. in case in this strategy, if one log backup is missing and all, again it will create a lot of problems, right? 99 yes, percentage full differential log will be there, but again, differential is ma not mandatory. If you want to go with a full log, also you can go with full and log, no issues. Sometimes interviews will ask you, my differential backup is corrupted, how you are going to achieve it. Then you can make use of all the log backups since last log, the last full backup. Okay. Clear, guys. Done. Okay. So let me go to the one more important backup called copy only backup. I never took this much time for any batch, guys. Okay. A lot of doubts. No issues you can ask, but the thing is <laughs> whether you are getting it or not, that is very important. Okay. Fine. Right. What is this copy only backup, guys? It is also very important backup. Okay. So, in other words, it's a copy only full backup. So, usually, what full backup will do? What a full backup will do, guys? It will take the we'll complete take the full backup full complete of backup database and, uh, and database. Data file and as well log file. Full database uh, yes. backup. And it will not take the Reset the, DCM. reset the DCM pages. Reset the DCM pages. DCM pages. Correct. Okay. Whereas your copy only full backup will take only the first part. It won't disturb DCM pages. Okay. Copy only full backup. 
this is very important guys copy only full backup if anyone is asking okay if anyone is asking a full backup in the middle of the backup strategy someone is performing a deployment activity deployment means simply they are running some changes some scripts they are running on the database okay safe side they ask us to take a full backup we don't know what is the result it, if it failed again it will create lot of issues right do one thing before deployment we'll take the backups full backups okay so someone is asking hey can you please take the full backup of this database in the middle of the week of course as per the backup strategy full backup is running every every week okay but in the middle of the week in the middle of the week might be some you know, like a sunday or monday or tuesday or wednesday one developer raised a request hey dba team can you please take a full backup of this database we have to perform one activity so for safer side take a full backup so if anyone asked full backup in the middle of the backup strategy you cannot take full backup guys you have to take copy only full backup what is the difference between these two full backup whenever you take the full backup guys this is the scenario someone asked full backup on wednesday guys wednesday they asked a full backup wednesday 6 pm they asked a full backup right listen carefully wednesday 6 pm they asked a full backup you took the full backup okay uh, you took the full dba took the full backup and they give it to the developers okay they just completed their activity successfully so once you took the full backup on wednesday 6 pm what happened guys differential backup will be changed earlier monday differential backup will consider sunday full backup tuesday differential backup will consider sunday full backup wednesday differential backup has to consider sunday full backup but unfortunately at wednesday 6 pm you took a full backup right so wednesday differential backup contains the changes from the wednesday last full backup agree everyone yes sir is it clear Yes, wednesday when you when you took the full backup in the middle of the week if you took the full backup wednesday differential backup will consider all the changes from wednesday 6 pm right so wednesday differential backup diff backup from wednesday 6 pm onwards since wednesday 6 pm 6 pm guys right so you took the full backup in the middle of the week customer said okay deployment is successful you can delete the existing backup because of uh, size constraints they asked us to delete it okay now you deleted guys there is no wednesday 6 pm full backup agree now database is corrupted on friday i am not saying regularly will get these issues these are the challenges in the backups okay worst cases in the backups friday at um, Mm, morning 7 am data database is corrupted now tell me guys how you are going to achieve this now tell me this Only is the same when wednesday differential backup sir mm. why because it has been deleted right not differential backup differential backup is not deleted only full backup is deleted wednesday 6 pm whatever took, whatever you took manually that full backup is deleted okay So we cannot restore anything. We cannot use them in further. Hmm. Sir, be because the reference and Tilaga both are looking for latest full backup now. So we can't do. We cannot fix this. Sir, can we use a Sunday backup? You can use Sunday backup, but again, just now Ankam said. your differential backup will consider the last full backup your log backups also will consider the last full backup agree so by wednesday 6 pm the stage is changed from sunday to wednesday right the stage earlier the stage is sunday now the when you took manual full backup the stage is changed from wednesday from sunday to wednesday but unfortunately wednesday stage is collapsed on what basis you are going to restore the differential backups and log backups on wednesday differential backup on wednesday full backup wednesday full backup there is no wednesday full backup right that's what i am saying there is no wednesday full backup deleted 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 that's what i am saying wednesday stage is collapsed on what basis you will make use of backups now what is the way now to fix this issue 
आप ही मामले में संडे फुल बैक सर someone already said that the data has been lost sir uh, why because there is no first in if you, you if you make use of sunday if you make use of sunday you can use up to tuesday you can restore up to tuesday or wednesday before uh, full backup okay you can make you can restore up to wednesday before full backup you can restore all the full backup differential backup and log backups up to before wednesday 6 pm but what about from wednesday to friday whatever what about those two days data how you are going to get it is there any solution yeah, sorry govinda go no, sir today govinda go govinda go no uh. what is that huh? the data gone sir gone govinda govinda okay okay yes sir ah uh, okay okay got any any other way guys tell me think about it any other way can we fix this issue <laughs> there is no other using, way using uh, all sir using all you cannot make use of this the recent full backup recent differential backups log backups on the old full backup chain that's it once yes, you generate sir, a manual full backup yeah each uh, each and every full backup will have a set you i told you right uh, sp1 cu18 you cannot use for uh, sp2 SP2 will have separate cumulative updates. SP1 will have separate cumulative updates in the same way. This full backup set will have its own differential backups and log backups. Again on Wednesday, full backup you took right. That will that will have its own full and differential backup. You cannot make use of other full backup set for differential and log backups on older full backup set, guys. That is not possible. In this case, there is no solution, guys. No solution. You are going to lose the data, or you will get the data till Wednesday 6 p.m. That's it. You are going to lose two days backup, two days data. Then the solution is uh, copy only full backup. Copy data. only. I told you right. Copy only full backup will take only the full backup of the database. It don't reset the DCM pages. So even though you took a uh, copy only in this scenario, if customer asked a full backup, you have to take uh, Wednesday. You have to take uh, at six p.m. You have to take a uh, copy only full copy. backup. You will get the data. You can restore. You can make use. as a full backup but differential backup won't be changed differential backup always refers to a last sunday full backup only it won't be changed is it clear copy only backup copy only full backup if you use copy only full backup it won't disturb the dcm pages okay so that it will always consider the last full backup guys okay so in the middle if you don't no whatever we discuss till now if you don't understand always take a copy only full backup if anyone raised a request to take a full backup whatever we discuss if you don't understand this concept leave it no issues at all but the important point is if anyone asked manual full backup in the middle of the week okay what is your responsibility which backup you have to take copy only, copy only, only backup. backup copy only full backup okay so how to take copy only full backup guys backup we database database check. name okay backup database database and name copy only to disk is equal to only. okay that's it employee underscore copy only full backup underscore 02 02 23 20 22 dot bak is the full backup command right with copy only you have to add that's it guys okay so this is how we have to take using command using command you have to take like this using ga also we can take it right click tasks right click tasks please mute it guys please mute it backup full backup you have to select copy only you have to select click okay that's it Okay, if you want to change the file name, you can change the file name. You can remove the old file name. You can add it, and you can give the new file name. Where is that copy only? I'll simply edit it. Okay, I, I just selected and uh, uh, underscore two. Okay, just renaming the file. That's it, guys. Click okay. Click okay. Click okay. You have to choose copy only here. That's it. Full copy only. So copy only full backup. The combination is copy only full backup. If you want to generate a query, you can generate a script. Okay. If you want to see, this is the actual script for copy only full backup. Backup database database name to disk is equal to file name dot bak with copy only 
no format no init okay skip no rewind no unload stats is equal to 10 these are the parameters will be added automatically by the sql server guys is it clear always if you don't understand this concept if anyone asked you hey please take a full backup if anyone if any request comes to you to take the full backup they don't ask hey please take a copy only full backup they don't know what is copy only full backup as a dba it's your responsibility okay so always if in the blind sign is whenever anyone asked a copy uh, whenever anyone asked a full backup in the middle of the week always take copy only full backup okay so these are these four backups are very important any issues any doubts here please let me know sir no format no initialization escape everything will be i'll share one document okay please go through okay. the document you will get to know what no format will do what no initialization okay, 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 see okay. it's nothing no format means we just selected append right for that these are the uh, parameters append overwrite these things okay. the parameter the command is no format that's it okay okay we uh, you, using gui we are selected a no format uh, we just selected append right for that there is a parameter that is no format no init skip no rewind okay so this is how those parameters are but in the in the document i'll share one backup document in that you can find it out okay what is this so any questions please full differential log and copy only full backup sir to generate the copy only backup uh, is there any particular uh, shared location is there sir because yeah. other users uh, can ask no? that is your wish uh, ankam to which location you want to take you you can take it that's not a issue even the other users are asking okay that's they are, they are asking us only to keep safe until the deployment is completed they are not asking to share the backup what yeah. they can do by using that backup they cannot restore anywhere right they yes. they for safer side hey please take it and keep it aside that's it to which location you want to take that is your wish in which drive you have enough free space you have to take and in the organization backup drive will be there separate backup drive will be there all the backups has to be performed to that drive only okay as per their activity uh, simply they are going to tell us that's it for safer, safer side for okay. safer side they will ask us to take the backup that's it okay, okay. guys so in this scenario if the database is corrupted at 8:15 8:14 in the last scenario if the database is corrupted at 8:14 we just recover till 8 o'clock right what about that 40 minutes data how can we recover that we can't recover sir. right we can recover <laughs> using back. tail log backup don't confuse t log backup is different t log backup means transaction log backup that's what we discussed T log backup or log backup both are same. Tail log backup is different. Tail, tail log backup is different. Okay, so when this tail log backup can be generated, if the database is corrupted, immediately you have to take tail log backup, and tail log backup will be generated if the database is corrupted. in corruption situations only you can take it okay you can take the tail log backup but it will be utilized during corruption situations only immediate action when once once the database is corrupted immediate action you have to uh, do is take a tail log backup and tail log backup won't be generated if your log file is corrupted guys if your log file is corrupted tail log backup or log backup won't be generated guys remember if your log file is corrupted tail log backup or log file won't be generated so the first thing you will do once the data sir how can we know the database is corrupted in the sql server error log first the database will go to the in recovery pending state in the in the management studio in the brackets you can see in recovery or pending recovery or offline or suspect mode in the brackets you can see guys okay if the database is corrupted that is one way second way is you can check in the sql server error log okay management go to sql server logs double click on current error log you can check here the database is not accessible and all you can go through this error log there also you can see the database is corrupted or not okay so once the database is corrupted the first thing you have to do is take a tail log backup there is no gui way for tail log backup you have to run one query what is that query can anyone tell me what is the query for taking log backup sir backup hmm. sir backup log, log. Hmm. log database name log. 
डेटाबेस नेम डेटाबेस नेम टू डेज इक्वल टू टू डेज के डॉट टीआर कंप्लीट पाथ विथ फाइल डॉट बीएके डॉट बीएके की जगह पे डॉट टीआर डॉट टीआर एक्सटेंशन लॉग बैकअप ओके अंडरस्कोर व्हाट इज द डेट टुडे 02 23 2022 dot tr and this is a tail log backup right yes sir with no truncate no, sorry this is transaction log backup i'm sorry okay na no? this is transaction log backup query for that you have to add one parameter called with no truncate okay for tail tail backup tail log we need to add hmm with no truncate sorry so why we are adding no truncate Sorry, I did not get you. Why we have to add no truncate? Um, that is the query, yes, guys. To take the tail log backup, see full differential log backups. You can use, you can take using your uh, GUI. Okay, but for tail log backup, there is no GUI concept. Microsoft designed that query with no truncate. Okay, you have to add for log backup query. You have to add one parameter called with no truncate, which will generate a tail log backup. Okay, guys. So once the database is corrupted at eight fourteen, imagine the database is corrupted. What is the first thing you have to do, guys? Immediately at eight fourteen, you have to take the tail log backup using this query. Okay, at eight fourteen, just mention the date and timestamp as underscore zero eight fourteen zero zero timestamp so that you can came to know which tail log backup it is. So eight fourteen tail log backup it is. So immediately you will generate this tail log backup. Then. whatever full backups are there you have to restore your full backup you have to restore your recent differential backup you have to restore all the log backups finally you have to restore this tail log backup to get that 40 minutes data in this way we can recover the complete data guys is it clear uh, sir you uh, log backup i mean file is corrupted at that time we cannot do anything we can hands up and so mm hmm hmm we cannot do anything okay if the log backup is corrupted log file is corrupted we cannot do anything we cannot generate okay. log backups and we cannot uh, take the tail log backups also is there any scenarios like that sir? yeah 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 very rarely you will get guys don't worry don't frighten uh, we have to do all these things no very rarely you will get these kind of issues yes this kind of uh, issues you, you are going to face it okay whenever the database is corrupted please star mark star mark star 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 mark okay whenever database is corrupted you have to take tail log backup first so that whatever the data is there in the tail okay imagine the database is corrupted at 816 guys do we need tail log backup 816 the database is corrupted yes, sir for one minute why One In minute. that one minute, you might buy an iPhone, right? Uh, do I need to lose your transaction? Are you are okay if I if I take one lakh from you and if I don't deliver your product, is that okay for you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, that one minute to one one minute, ten minutes, anything we have to as a DBA that is our responsibility. Okay, even one transaction also can't miss. Okay, so one minute tail log backup will take. Anyhow, eight fifteen log backup will generate, right? So eight sixteen it was corrupted means one minute you can generate a tail log backup so that it will take the backup of that only one minute. Okay, eight seventeen two minutes. Again till eight thirty eight eight twenty nine that fourteen minutes. Okay, so that it is how sir, it will sir, work. One, please please. Sir, one, one. Your voice is breaking, sir. What happened with? Uh, डेटाबेस इज करप्टेड यू हेव टू टेक द टेल लॉक बैकअप Okay. What is the scenario? Database is corrupted. That is the that itself a scenario, guys. If the data we see full differential log, uh, we are going to uh, create a jobs. So regularly these jobs will run. It's a it's a twenty four by seven activity. Uh, it's it's keep running. These jobs will keep running, and they will take full differential log backups continuously. 
whenever there is an issue you can make use of those existing backups but tail log whenever it is corrupted then only will take the tail log backup there is no scenario kind of thing again if the database is the use case is the database is corrupted the next thing you have to do is take tail log backup okay done chalo let's go to another backup called striped backup you know striped jeans right what is the striped jeans guys And so multiple co multiple uh, uh, backup files are divided in multiple files. Mm, okay, so or split backups. We can call it as a split backup. Split backup. Okay. Split, backup. split personality, you know, right? Split backups. Anyone having split personality here? <laughs> Done. Okay. Uh, I I think in. You have split I'm personality, Ankur. Really... Everybody has a. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> has. <laughs> Everybody has, but uh, maybe we don't know. Or, don't uh... expose, yeah. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Guys, this is a scenario. Okay, my backup file size is backup file size is two hundred GB. Okay, my backup file. Imagine your database size is one TB. When you generate a backup file, it will comes around two hundred GB. But unfortunately, you don't have free space in any of the drives. You have E drive, you have X drive. You have D drive and F drive. In each drive, you have fifty fifty free space is there, fifty GB here. Okay, here fifty GB is there free space. In a single drive, you don't have okay all two hundred GB free space. Okay, you have like this F drive. You have fifty GB free space. You can take the backup this backup in multiple parts to all these drives. Part one, part two, part three, part four. Four parts you can take it. it depends upon your wish how many splits you want you can take it guys don't think only four splits up to 64 splits you can take 64 splits up to 64 splits you can take it guys means this 200 gb backup can be striped into 64 parts that's your wish two parts you want to take backup to two drives you can go for a two splits three drives you can go for a three splits four drives you can go for a four splits Split backup. The same two hundred GB will be split, guys. But while restoring, all backup should be there. Agree? Agree, guys. These are all pieces. That is one piece, second piece, third piece, fourth piece. While restoring, four pieces should be there to restore, guys. When during space constraints, you can take this uh, split backups or striped backups. Very simple thing. Okay, so you can if you have. To, Sir, this is the only scenario will take split backups. No, some organizations will follow split backups for a uh, uh, time saving purpose. If it is a very big database, they will try to uh, uh, take in four parts so that uh, four threads will run in the OS side and the backup will be quick. Don't think only when I don't have free space, then only I'll take I'll generate a split backup. No, some organizations will follow that is a, that as a strategy. Okay, to fasten to fasten the backups, they will take the backups in multiple parts. Okay, they will store it in different different drives. Each each files they will store it in different. Or they can store in the same. See, I can store the same backup in the E drive also. Don't think means I have to give different drives for each part. No, in the E drive itself in the particular folder itself you can take in multiple parts. But while restoring, all the parts should be there to restore. If one part is missed, you cannot restore the backup, guys. Is it clear? Striped backups. There is no GUI way for striped backups. Okay, there is only command way. What is the command? Can anyone tell me? Sir, add the multiple files. Right click on uh, command backup. Mm hmm. And uh, data uh, backup database. To um, database name to disk. Or uh, there are the path and add you to the multiple files. To disk is equal yes. to okay. Employee. Single, uh, single. dot b employee one dot b a k part one dot b a k b a k comma comma disk is equal to uh, say for example uh, let me give you like this uh, to the same folder I'll I'll take it okay uh, I let me create we have one SQL backups Madhu backups right let me take to this location control C let me delete this existing backup guys yes. And never delete any backups in the organization. Okay, if you want to delete because of space issues and all, take a confirmation. Okay, comma. Disk is equal to how many parts you want. Disk is equal to again 
ओके कंट्रोल वी डैश डैश एम्प्लॉयी अंडरस्कोर पार्ट टू डॉट बी ए के ओके थ्री पार्ट यू वांट डिस्क इज इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी पार्ट यू वांट दैट मेनी डिस्क यू हैव टू मेंशन अगेन कंट्रोल वी बैकअप एम्प्लॉयी अंडरस्कोर पार्ट थ्री डॉट बी ए के guys is this command successful tell me is it going to be successful or it will be failed tell me guys comma sir it is a fail yeah. comma like yeah yeah now is yeah, it sir, going I'll to be successful or it will be failed as uh, successful you can see here i gave the wrong database name yes sir so it will be failed no sir it will be why, success why sir why sir? this is the file name na no? you can type that, that is simply file name sir that's fine We yeah, need to name, name that is called employee. If you are correct, so listen carefully, guys. This file name can be anything. This file name can be okay. You can keep any name. This file name can be Mahesh Babu. This file name can be uh, can be uh, Mehreen. This file name can be Samantha. This file name can be Shruti Hasan. Anything, okay? Anything it can be. Don't think only I have to mention the same database name in the file name. You can mention can your own name. Anything? Okay, you can mention your own name. You can mention Modi's name. Any name, any name, guys. It doesn't differ. Even though you give the wrong name, also it doesn't consider. It will simply generate with this name. That's it. Okay, guys. This is how we'll take the split backups. In my case, if I want to take two different drives, you will change the drive letters: D drive, E drive, X drive. That's it. path is going to be differ if you want to take the all split backups to the same location you can take it if you want to take it due to space constraints i want to take to different location sir you can change the path is it clear guys in this case tell me is it successful or it will be failed successful <coughs> successful drive is not available drive is not available na sir e i have only one drive. drive okay i have only c drive And the D drive is there, but it it is a temporary drive. It won't take it. Okay, so it will be failed. Why? Because this path is not existed, right? So it will be failed. Yes, so let 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 me make it to C again. Okay. So I just want to tell you to any location you can take it. All the parts can be taken to a different drives, different folders, or same drives, same folder. No issues. Let me execute all text. Done. Okay. Go to the location. You can see three parts. C drive. Madhu backups. See three parts. While restoring, I should use all these three backups to restore. If any backup is missed, I cannot make use of this backups, guys. This is called striped backups. Okay. Sir, this implemented by GUI or only query? No query only. There is no GUI concept for striped backups. Okay. Okay. There is assignment for tomorrow. Okay. Uh, okay. I have ten files in my database. Two file groups in my database. I want to take a specific file or file group backup. How can we take it? Okay. okay. I want to take a specific file or file group backup. How can we take it? And finally, let me go with the cold backups, guys. Cold backups, you know, to take the cold backups database should be offline. Okay. Then only I can take it. Go to the employee database location properties. Okay, go to the file space. This is the location path, right? Control C, Windows R, Control V, Enter, right? So this is my two files. Okay, Control C. Let me copy to the Madhu backups. Where is Madhu backups? This is the one. Let me copy. Can I copy? Yes. I cannot copy. The database is in use. If the notepad, oh, yes, if the word. Yes, yes. If the Word document is open, can I uh, move the file to another location? You will get an error. The file is in use. You can see the file is open in SQL Server. What I have to do? I have to bring this database offline. Then only I can move the files. Tasks, move or copy anything. You may you may ask, sir. We are just copying, right? What is the problem? If the file is open, you cannot copy to other location, guys. Now try again. Go to this Madhu backups. Now try again, guys. You can see now. then this is how we have to take the cold backups for taking the cold backups if it is user database you have to bring the database offline if it is system database guys yeah. 
Sir, resources ka um, actually. If it is system database, how can we take the backup? Cold backup. No, sir. We can't do, sir. Because cannot, we cannot copy. take the. Let's uh, let's try to uh, copy the uh, okay master database. Let's try to take the master database uh, cold backup, right? Control C. I want to copy to this location, right? Modu backups. I cannot copy as you know. Just now we did this assignment, okay? The files are in open, open in SQL Server. Try again, try again, try again. It won't work, okay? Now how to take the cold backups for system databases? That is the assignment question for tomorrow, and let me know, okay? And yesterday, uh, four or five people they started SQL Server in single user mode, and they unlocked SA password. Very good, guys. Excellent work. Please keep it up, okay? So um, uh, if the if no one completed the assignment, please try to complete the assignment. How to unlock the SA password using command prompt, okay? Guys, is it clear? Any issues? Any doubts? Tomorrow we'll discuss about the recovery models, and then we'll we'll start a uh, restore. So how to restore a database? Okay, guys. Any questions? Any doubts? Please. Sir, I, I think we can't take the cold backup for system database, sir. As uh, once uh, server is started, now automatically they are in uh, you know, always in use only. Okay. Is there any way? Uh, I will check in Google, sir. By using uh, by, by using uh, alter. 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 Mm, what it will do? Alter. Alter database database name and to uh, no sir uh, in uh, startup parameters we can change sir uh, sir what about other backup sir no need. other other back no need we will <laughs> see we'll hardly will use a four full differential log backup copy only full backup regularly will use these backups. Uh, rarely will use tail log backup fine okay uh, so it depends upon the organization uh, very less people will use striped backup one student asked me today sir how to take striped backup so that's why we discussed usually we don't take a striped backups or split backups these backups are fine whatever we discussed these backups are fine but i am going to share you the document if you are still interested go th go through that very beautiful document guys how to speed up the backups what parameters we have to use to speed up the backups. I have very big database. I want to speed up the backup. Usually it will take one or two hours, right? Still, I want to speed up the backups. How can we do that? In that document, it was clearly mentioned. Excellent document, excellent. Very simple documents, easy to understand. If you want, we have other five backups are there, right? What are the other five backups? File and file group backups, partial backup, partial differential backup, mirror backup. Go through the document. You can came to know there are queries. Okay, to take these backups, go through it. We don't use it, so that's why we didn't discuss it. And how to fasten the backups also is there in the document. I'll share the document today. Okay. Yes, sir. sir, whenever anyone uh, ask about uh, when, when you have a huge databases, then how you are uh, taking the uh, backup strategy? Same strategy. Like, uh, same this strategy is the solution. This is Split the solution. Uh, backup. No, 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 no. See, don't uh, tell like that. Don't tell like okay. that. You can take. See, if big big database is there, it's it's not mandatory that you have to take split backups. To fasten it, you can take it. If you are okay with the time and all, you can go for normal full backups only. Or less than one minute, sir. Yeah, yeah. Let me reconnect. Guys, please reconnect again.